Thanks for checking out this video. So this is kind of one of my opinion piece videos that I like to do every now and then. Well, actually, I've been kind of doing them once a week now, uh, but I'm not going to always do those. I'm going to kind of do go between this and sometimes I'll have unboxings, which I do have one coming up, which should be fun. Uh, but anyway, so this topic, if you clicked on this, you know, is about my opinion on basically showing horror films to kids. Now, I'll give you two disclaimers on this. One, I do not have kids. You need to know that. The other thing is when I was growing up, my parents were such that they were pretty strict about what I was able to see when I was young. So I was never exposed to horror films, films really when I was young. And I know there are a lot of people out there who were. So just those two disclaimers so you kind of know where I'm coming from and where my perspective is coming from. But you also need to know that the way I tend to look at things, at least nowadays, is... I like to look at things from both sides of the story. You know, what's my initial reaction or what has been my reaction in the past versus what are people saying on the other side and kind of consider those two and if anything pops up in between. So this is kind of what I've come to thought wise on, you know, showing horror films to children. So once again, feel free in the comments to go ahead and make your comment. How do you feel about this, your perspective, and we can talk about it, which I think would be cool. And that's kind of what this is, is just kind of give people a perspective and let, let's chat about what you think. So initially, I was I was raised, like I said, as a kid who was, you know, it was very strict what I was and was not allowed to watch. Now that said, I got like horror light in a sense when I was young. I watched a lot of The Monsters, a lot of The Addams Family, uh, Scooby-Doo even, which all of those obviously have strong horror elements to them, but they're kid friendly. Um... My parents did allow me to watch when I was very young the film The Burbs, which obviously it has horror elements, but it's horror comedy, uh, and that gave me nightmares. So I think that was kind of the catalyst for them to be like, oh, no, 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 uh, none of this type of stuff for, for the kids anymore, and I think that was kind of like that defining moment where things were very much controlled. Now, that said, I still continue to watch, you know, the, the more family-friendly horror type things. But then once I got into, you know, middle school, uh, I think I, I would have these situations where, you know, my mom would be cooking, my dad wasn't around, and I was, you know, sitting there with the remote control, I would be flipping channels, and I'd come across a horror film that was on TV, so I would kind of sneakily watch part of it, and then if I heard anyone coming or saw anyone coming in the room, I'd, you know, hit that last channel button, which is your friend in those instances, to go back to something else and pretend like I was never watching that stuff. So horror was really intriguing me at that point. It wasn't until I got into college that I really started to, you know, be exposed to a lot more horror films. Like, my buddy exposed me to some of the best. The Shining and The Evil Dead. Those were the kind of two that really kicked it off for me. I was just like, oh, I'm going to continue down this path. So that leads me now to my decision-making process on what do I think as far as kids, which it doesn't really matter, honestly, my decision-making process on it, because I don't have kids, like I said. But uh, it may matter a little bit, and I'll tell you why. So initially, my, my first thought, because of my upbringing some years ago, was that I don't really know if you should show horror films to kids. I just don't think they have the context for it. I don't think they're really ready for it. I think it's it's kind of potentially irresponsible to show them the gore and the violence and all that type of stuff. So that was my initial thought. But as I've gotten older and as I've been exposed to more people and talked to more people about their experiences growing up and growing up watching horror films, I've realized there are some extremely well-adjusted people who have watched horror films while they were young and it did nothing to their psyche. It didn't damage them. And in some instances, I kind of feel like it's actually helped them in a way. Not only through, you know, life situations, but also through just being able to handle more in life. So I've kind of started to look at it differently over the past many years. And so I say that to say that my ultimate decision on where I think this kind of debate should be is it's up to the individual child. I think there are definitely children out there who it is probably too much for them to handle and they're not ready for it. But I think there are also children out there who can easily handle it. And I think a lot of it has to do with, you know, obviously the parents being present and knowing their kid and knowing what they can and cannot handle and also monitoring what they're watching. You know, maybe, you know, some kids can handle like horror, only horror light. Maybe some kids can handle a lot horror wise. 
but you just kind of have to be sensitive to that to that kid. Now, a lot of this kind of popped up for me why I started really deeply thinking about it is because I have a niece who's eight years old now, and uh, she has said before, because I, I believe her mother has, my sister has let her know that I do horror movie reviews. She has also known that my sister is a huge fan of The Walking Dead and has been, so she's been known about the concept of zombies for quite some time. Uh, she, I remember her talking about zombie apocalypse when she was like five years old. It's kind of funny, but, uh, <laughs> but anyway, so she has said she really wants to watch creepy movies with, with uncle Carlin. Um, so not only have I found that very cute, I feel like that's a cool opportunity for me to take this person, you know, as appropriate and show her some great horror films throughout her life. You know, maybe start very, very easy. I know that some of the stuff she has already seen, I think she's seen, um, Nightmare Before Christmas, The Monster Squad, you know, easy things like that. Uh, but at some point it's gonna, it's gonna be become more potentially if she wants to do that. If she sticks with this whole idea that she wants to watch creepy films with Uncle Carlin, I would be greatly open to it. So that was the catalyst for me to start really thinking a little bit differently about it. So I say this to say, I know people talk about this from time to time uh, online, and I think people should just be open and consider where people are coming from on it. Um, and also consider, you know, does this person have kids? Do they have nieces, nephews? You know, what is their life situation? Because I think people who don't have kids, it's it. you don't have to think about it too hard necessarily. And people who do have kids probably should think about it relatively hard. And I hope most of them do and come to whatever conclusion they do. Because like I said, I feel like it depends on the kid. Some kids could handle it. Some kids probably can't handle it. So I know this, <laughs> this has been a lot of talking for me to kind of come to like a, a middle point and say it depends. So it's not like a strong opinion, but hopefully this has helped people kind of go through a, di a few different perspectives and kind of like work through some stuff. But you know what? Maybe I'm just putting stuff out there that people have already thought about and I'm really late to the party. That is quite possible. But anyway, I would love to hear not only your perspective on this topic, but also what was your upbringing like with horror films? I'm very fascinated by that. Like, what level were people into? I had one person who commented recently on my Street Trash review saying that they saw Street Trash when they were 11 years old for the first time. And I just thought about that and I'm like, I cannot imagine what I would have thought at 11 years old watching Street Trash. Like, I don't know. I have no clue. Like, it, it blows my mind to even think about what that would be like, because uh, that's a crazy film. But anyway, yeah, put your stories down here. I'd love to talk to you about it. But I really appreciate everyone checking this out real quick. If you can, and you can, takes, takes literally a second, hit that subscribe button for me. Uh, I'm really just trying to grow this nerdy horror community here, so I have more people to talk nerd horror stuff about. Um, so that would be awesome, and I really do appreciate it. Uh, also hit the notification bell button, and that way you'll know anytime I'm putting up a new video like this one, which I'm trying to do about once a week, or movie reviews, which I do a lot of those, or unboxings, or haul videos, or I'm doing a bunch. But anyway, I really do appreciate you taking your time uh, to watch this, and until next time, keep it brutal.